as I bring the group over, the last truck will driver swap when they catch up with the group. You had the four low. All right, guys, you know the run of the drill. What we're doing here, we only need to keep a one truck length gap between yourself and the truck in front of you. Again. New four drivers, low. go ahead and make your way down the side hill. Make sure you're not braking, smooth, slow, and dip. controlled. Is it rock crawl? Rock crawl. It should be in rock crawl. It is. Okay. Get you, that. To, you don't do the diff thing, though, do you? Well, we'll see when I slide my rear end into the water. <laughs> I get to go second when it's all wet. <laughs> <laughs> keeping us keeping us anchored. This is legit scary. Yeah. Thirty. I better get on this horse and catch him. Hey, you're doing this like you've done it before. <laughs> well, I watched it done before. <laughs> Just, I mean, you really don't got to do much. Oh, you're sliding there? Yeah, a little bit. Huh, that's cool. Oh, crampy. <whistles> See, I felt like mine was less scary. They took longer with the first guy. Like, you, yeah. were, you were on there longer. Yeah. I'm just like scooting through. I want to get out of there. Whoa. That was the scariest part. The, the going up the hill wasn't. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Now I think that's where you put the diff lock. Put the diff lock in. Yeah. videos on, on a Dropbox or something. Oh, yeah. And then give me your email, I'll send you a link. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do the same because I got the, the good video of, of you. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Okay, so what did we get? Uh... Rock crawl, or, yeah, the cruise control thing, and then the diff lock, I think. Should be in rock crawl. Okay, Kyle, last truck is off the side hill. 
You got the rear diff this long, right? I think so, yeah. That'd be a neutral. Alright, gang, again, we're gonna do the hill climb here. We're gonna use the trail control and the rear locking differential. Yeah, yeah. Alright, check. So again, uh, to turn that uh, trail control on, it's to the right of the hazard button. Go ahead, press the button. It should throw up some uh, a mile an hour logo above the PRNDM at the bottom of the instrument panel. On. And go ahead and click it on one mile an hour. And like I said, the truck will drive forward for you on its own. Uh, the thing to remember with that game, it's not autopilot. It, it won't drive everything for you. The only thing it does is whatever speed you set, says, hey, if I'm going too slow, I'll give it gas. If I'm going too fast, I'll give it brake. Uh, you still want to be on top of the controls to drive this truck. He really didn't tell you all that, did he? <laughs> It is. When you're doing this. Yes. When you're looking into it the sky. It was in the way. You got to set the one? No. On that set. Okay. One mile per hour. Yeah. Copy. Yeah, it's in a different... Uh, Thing now it's got all the things set. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna put the steering in sport. It's tighter. Oh, okay. Cool. There's a little less play. I did not like that. Yeah, that was. That was. Okay like guys, when we get done up here, everything's the same. We're going to turn the locking differential off. When you get over there behind Kyle, we're not driver rotating. We are neutral coast and stop back into normal mode. Kyle's going to take you over to the handling course where you're going to get to see how the attitude and performance of the truck changes the push of a button in a controlled environment. Okay. Okay, locker off. Sure off. Okay, you know the drill. Cool. Drop on in. Let's do this with the window down. <laughs> Some fresh air in here. First couple of first couple of feet feels like it's not going to work for you. Going down was not as difficult as I thought it would be. It's just amazing how the truck just sticks. Yeah. I think the scary one will be later on when when we have uh, you know drop down several hundred feet instead of just the short. Right. One. Feel it chewing. 